scary. And I'm Larry. Larry, you're back from holidays. How was it? Warm, very warm. Wait, wait. Let me have a look at you. You, you are flowering already. Yeah, I know. I look amazing, right? Well, yeah. But how is this possible? I germinated much, much earlier than you. Well, I'm not sure, but I heard it has something to do with high temperatures. But, but, how? I, I know this girl who knows all about it. We can see if she's around. She's pretty. <laughs> For a long time it was known that plants are able to sense the temperature of the environment in which they grow. But scientists were not sure how this exactly worked. Psst, psst, Kenny. What? I, I have to warn you. This girl is kind of evil. Ah, that's a good one. Come on, let's go. No, no, no. I'm serious. You see this scar on my back? What? Whoa, that's nasty. Yeah, once I had a leaf here. <gasps> how did this happen? Come on, I'll show you. To find out how plants are able to sense the temperature of the environment in which they grow and adjust their flowering time, scientists look inside the cells of plants that are grown at higher or lower temperatures. In a molecular laboratory like this, they are able to visualize these differences on, for example, DNA, RNA or protein level. Mm. They are at least working hard on the leaf she took from me. Was it worth to lose it, you think? Well, I don't know. Let's find a bright scientist to explain this to us! Welcome! So you want to know a little bit more how uh, temperature can influence flowering. There are many plants that flower earlier when you raise the temperature. And researchers have discovered during the last few years the mechanisms that, that explain this early flowering at, at high temperatures. One mechanism involves chromatin. All DNA and genes are packed in chromatin, as depicted here. And depending on the temperature, you have an, a closed chromatin or an open chromatin. When it's open, then regulatory proteins, like it's depicted here, have access to the DNA and can induce flowering. And the second mechanism involves uh, what's called splicing. And that means that from a particular gene, in this case a flowering-related gene, more proteins can be produced. And in the case of FLM, there is a suppressor of flowering produced and an activator of flowering. And when the temperature raises, then you have more of this activator. The third mechanism involves another protein that is involved in flowering, and it's called SCP, and that's a suppressor of flowering. It's stable at low temperature, and it is instable at higher temperature, and that explains the induction of flowering. Hey, where are you going? To the sun!